the best way to discover little known sites and make even familiar places feel brand new is to go exploring by bicycle. This time, we're exploring Fukuoka, since ancient times, Japan's gateway to the rest of Asia. Well watered and fertile, this is a land ideal for farming, especially rice. Wow, beautiful valley. The bounties of nature deeply affected culture here. This is a landscape shaped by human activity. Local songs tell of a raw, Harsh history. Ah, what a beautiful summer day. Come with us now on a 400 kilometer ride through Fukuoka. It's a two-hour flight from Tokyo to Fukuoka. Close by the airport lie the ancient Itazuke ruins, today drenched by incessant rain. These dwellings are recreations, showing how people lived here 2,500 years ago. Looks like the rain is over. Our cyclist, Michael Rice, is from Colorado in the USA. A competitor in international triathlons, Michael's life revolves around cycling. This place here, this is, they say it's the place where rice farming started in Japan. And so that's, that's amazing because rice farming is so integral to the Japanese culture. And this is going to be my first time to really delve into the history of Fukuoka. Okay, rain stopped, time to go. Our trip will take four days. On the first day, Michael will ride along the Sea of Japan coast. The second day takes him south along the Chikugo River to the Ariake Sea. On the third day, he'll go north again to the coal mining region of Tagawa and the Hidaudai Karst Plateau. And the final day ends at the city of Kita Kyushu. Yeah, this really is a major city. But you'll be amazed to see how quickly we get out of the city and get along the coastline. Unfortunately, the wet weather isn't letting up. Fukuoka gets a lot of rain in summer, caused by moist winds off the sea. Uh, I hope this is about the last of the rain. Three hours riding has brought Michael to the Itoshima Peninsula. Not far from Fukuoka City, it's known for its fine beaches and lush forests. I love the views here. 
So beautiful. Finally the rain has stopped. <laughs> Look at these beautiful flowers. The rain brings these flowers, huh? Wonderful. Oh, it's a lot cooler here with the, with the rice fields. Cool breeze blowing off. Itoshima has been a fertile farming area since ancient times, and farmers today remain very conscious of this long history. Ogushi Yukio runs a tourist farm here in Itoshima. <laughs> <laughs> Ogushi's wife, Maeda Kazuko, shares in the running of the farm. It covers an area of 12 hectares. Visitors can pick many kinds of vegetables, varying with the season. <笑>長い。本当に長い。長い。いや、本当にすごい豊富ですね。ピーマンとかお米食べる。え、本当?本当に食べて。はい、いいですか。僕実はピーマン苦手だったんだけど、はい。甘みがあると美味しい。美味し
Michael gets to taste their rice, topped with umeboshi plums and a special homemade miso. The rain has started again, so Michael decides cycling is over for the day. Beautiful morning. Uh, the rest of the trip's gonna be great. Michael is now riding south, following the Chikugo River. Wow, this is a big river. <laughs> it's really wide. Yeah, definitely one of the wider rivers in Japan. This river supplies water for irrigation and is also a major source of drinking water. I'm gonna go explore the town over here. Yanagawa is a town of canals and waterways. Uh, city of canals, canals all over the place. Uh. I can see some tourists over there taking a boat tour. The first canals might have been dug here as irrigation ditches as much as 2,000 years ago. As the town grew around a castle built in the 1500s, new canals were built to allow boats to move around easily. <laughs> Nishijima Hiroshi works as a boatman. Nishijima sings a boatman's song of welcome for visitors. The ocean made it back to the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it's low tide now. 
This is the Ariake Sea, Japan's largest tidal flat, with endless mud shoals exposed at low tide. Yeah, Kyushu is so volcanic, you can see the other side of the ocean, all those volcanic mountains there. Yeah. So hot and humid. <laughs> Sweat's just dripping off me. The temperature today is 34 degrees Celsius. No place to get a drink. <laughs> Gotta look for a vending machine. <laughs> vending machine. Got it. Finally found a vending machine. Oh, it's not just drinks, they've got something else. What are those? Fireworks? <laughs> it's a fireworks vending machine. I came to buy drinks, but they sell, sell fireworks. I'm gonna go check this out. What a cool building. Konnichiwa. <laughs> それで自動販売機に出してるんですね。そうですね。あの、休みの日とかお客さんがあのお店が閉まってでもあの買えるように。ああ、はい。Tsutsui Ryota is the third generation of a family that has been making fireworks for almost 100 years. They have a shop next to the factory. <laughs> Tsutsui's fireworks are all handmade in the old way. As well as the traditional kinds, he has many innovative designs, perfect for gifts and souvenirs. This is the this traditional local firework consists of a length of rice straw tipped with gunpowder. はい、どうぞ。はい、お邪魔します。はい、すごい。これをですね、こうつけたら。これですね。ちょっとこういった感じ。ああ、はい。上向きにして。これは Okay, so my first time to do this type. Yeah, so at first it's like a big fire. And I thought, oh, okay, and then it's going to be over. But then it's not over, you can blow on it. Oh, 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 so. Wow, it's really pretty. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Today, Tsutsui is the only maker of Subote Botan fireworks. This <laughs> これ
これやってくれる機械とかはないです。機械がないんですよ。<笑>本当に手作業で。手作業で自分たちがもうできる範囲で分だけ。えー、なななんなんでここまでこんな大変な。<笑>ええー、大変なね大変大変大変,大変とはあんまりそんなに思わない。<笑>ただ昔からこうつながってるこの、はい、あのー、日本の文化じゃないですかこの線香花火とかはもう、はい、誰もが知ってる線香花火をね、はい、やっぱこう。絶やさないようにただね、はい、努力するだけですよね。There used to be six fireworks companies in this area, but competition from inexpensive imported fireworks drove the others out of business. Tsutsui alone continues to pursue quality and new designs using locally produced raw materials. ここがですね、はい、あの線香花火の原料になる。私の田んぼです。あ、自分の田んぼです。はい。はい、When farmers began recycling rice straw to fertilize their fields, Tsutsui could no longer get the materials he needed. So five years ago, he began growing his own rice. これがあるからね、はい、米作りが続く限り線香花火も作れ続,、はい、続けていけるなとは思います、うん、あとはだからこのやっぱ日本文化を世界の人たちに知ってもらいたい、うん、ああはい、ね、そうですね、うん、で線香花火ってなると輪になるんですよね、うんうんで最後になんかこう遠かった距離感がぐっと縮まるのがこ,うこの線香花火。やっぱり一本一本違う表現しますね。<笑>はい、違いますね。さあこれもまた別の感動。うん<笑>楽しい,<笑>楽しい,楽しい<笑> A taste of how rice growing has left a deep mark on Japan's culture. Woo! Look at this! Beautiful tea fields here. The next day starts in Yame. An area with a 600 year history of tea growing. Ah, what a nice river. Oh, look at this stone bridge. Oh, this bridge looks old. Oh, oh another stone bridge. Oh, wow. The Hoshino River features many of these stone built bridges. Mm, what a beautiful river. Ah, and look, there's another bridge. Another stone bridge. That's beautiful. Wow. Looking through that stone bridge, that's really amazing. Ah, it looks like people are doing something here. Let me. See what's going on. Hello, Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Eh, k o k o n i w a what are you doing here? Ah, this Ishibashi is celebrating its 130th anniversary. Ah, ah. 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 
Uchida Lie works at a local tourist center. She's organized a team of people to trim the weeds growing on this old bridge. Michael lends a hand. The bridges across the Hoshino River used to be wooden but frequent floods kept sweeping them away. After many requests from local residents, the changeover to stone bridges began 130 years ago. <laughs> we got a lot, <laughs> got a lot of weeds off the bridge. <laughs> <笑>全国見てもこういう、あの、整然と並んだ、あの、橋はありませんよ。それはもう自慢です。はい、すごいですね。先人がなかなか汗水垂らしてみんなのこう、あの、期待をはい。ね、あの、背負って架けた橋だ
Oh, look at those. There are water wheels there. Michael has now arrived at Tagawa. Oh, wow, look at those. What are those, big chimneys? Two big chimneys there. They look old. Oh, there they are. Those are big. Oh. Oh, look at those. Konnichiwa. Ah, konnichiwa. Ah, ah konnichiwa. Ah, kono hen no gaido no katta desu ka? Hai, so desu. Ah, hai. Zuto shekita no. Harada Iwao works as a guide for a museum explaining the chimney's history. Kono hen desu wa desu ne, chika fukaku shekita no horu tame no elevator no age sage suru tame no ああ、すごいですね。はい、45.45m Starting in the 1890s, large-scale coal mining here in the Chikuho region was a significant contributor to Japan's modernization. Born and raised in Tagawa, Hanada went straight from high school into the coal mines. However, Japan had begun transitioning from coal to oil for its energy needs. Seeing no future in it, Harada left the mines after just one year. This mine was turned into a museum to tell the history of the area. For visitors, Harada will often sing the old songs of the coal miners. あんまり煙突が暖かいので、さぞや、お月さん、煙たかろ、さのよいよいという歌がありますね。どうしてここで生まれたんですか?その楽しそうな曲ですね。そうですね。炭鉱中ところは命をかけて働く仕事です。仕事に行って帰れるか帰れるかわからない。そういう炭鉱の厳しい仕事の中で心を支える歌と言ったらいいのかな。そういうためにこの炭鉱節というのは生まれたんだろうと思います。これが。
洗濯するのに大変だったと思うんですよ真っ黒で、うんはい、昔水がね、はい、豊富やなかったし、うん、coal mining was a dangerous life threatening job women worked underground too carrying coal through the tunnels おばあちゃんはこういう仕事をしとって楽湾で亡くなってんです、はい、父が当たる父がまだ7か月ぐらいの赤子の時んこんな歌があるんですけども「はい、雨の消防消防ポロバンにからかさ片手にやや抱いて」坊や泣くなよ泣いたとて死んだ母ちゃん帰らせぬさのよいよい炭鉱節の元歌にこういう詩が残っています、はい、原田's father Kuniji became a miner despite his mother dying down there when he was a baby He worked in the mines all his life. When Harada decided to leave the coal mines, his father didn't object. そそれが父のの本心だったんじゃないかなか、はい、時気づいたんですね。Now over 80, Harada continues to keep the memories of the old miners alive. 炭鉱石炭があって亡くなった人たちがいたからこの日本が栄えた田川が栄えたということだけは忘れてほしくない。It's the last day of the trip, and Michael is heading towards Kita Kyushu in the north of Fukuoka. This is a long climb. <laughs> This view better be worth it. After 50 minutes of solid climbing, the scenery begins to open up. Almost up to the views. Oh, look at these views. Oh, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> through the forest into the rocks. Wow. <laughs> look at all these rocks. I wonder who put all these rocks here. <laughs> Hidao Dai is a limestone plateau. These rocks, formed on the seafloor 350 million years ago, have been eroded over millennia into a mysterious landscape. Waiting for Michael are two Hidao Dai nature guides. Hello, hello. 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 Hello.
よろしくお願いします2人はずっと前から住んでるんですか私が、はいえー、と自分の祖父の代からここに住んでます、はい、3代目ですあ、はいうん、私は結婚して5年ぐらい前にここに来ましたあアカネやコウジーガイドヴィズターズオントレックスオブザカーストプラトゥーまた不思議な形がいろいろ出てきます<笑>誰が乗せたんだろうみたいな<笑>形してます<笑>すごいこれもかっこいい形です<笑>溶かされた跡<笑>そ,そうなんかすごい面白い、えーこれもともと全然岩じゃないんですよ。あ、岩じゃないんですか。あの海の生き物。あ、海の生き物。海の生き物。ああ。およそ発生したのが三億五千万年前ぐらいって言われてます。サンゴとかフズリナとか、はい、カルシウムの殻を持っている生き物たちがどんどん海の底で堆積していって、うん、石になっていたものが石灰岩で、これが三億年前に発生した石を今。地上で見ているという,う。地球の歴史がちょっと詰まっているような。はいはい、いや、本当に奇跡ですよね。すごい。あ、ちょうどあそこに日ごたえが。<笑>これが日ごたえです。あはい、夏のお花です。あ、可愛い,いらしい、ね。可愛い,いですね。あ、綺麗な紫しています。there are no trees on hidal dai。But over 900 kinds of flowers and grasses grow wild here throughout the year. 実は春に野焼きっていうのをやるんですよ。野焼きって何かっていうと、わざとですね、はい、冬に枯れた草に火をつけて、はい、ここを全部燃やすんですよね。こういう草原上の景色っていうのは自然状態だと保たれないんですね必ず木が生えて森になっていく、はいはい、よくこう自然景観って言われるんですけれども実はその自然と人間の合作である景色なんですね。In Hidal Dai, people have been doing these controlled burns for hundreds of years to eradicate pests and maintain the grasslands. Many outsiders settled here after World War II, and they continued the custom of annual burns. They used the grass as fodder for livestock and to make fertilizer for the fields they cultivated. It was the basis of their livelihoods. Today, only about 40 people still live on Hidal Dai. これがあの入植って開拓で入ってきた人たちの名前がこう彫ってて私の祖父も名前が刻まれています。アカネ lived in Fukuoka city until six years ago. She had never heard about the Hidal Dai settlers before she met Koji, and he told her about his family. For the last two years, Akane and Koji have been interviewing residents to make a record of the area's history. この地域の人たちがやっぱり平尾台は守っとかなねという強い意識があるという、うん、だからありがたいなという思いでいっぱい<笑> Each year the population dwindles and the remaining residents get older so the work of collecting memories is more urgent than ever ある意味私たちがこの名もない里山でネイチャーガイドをするっていうのも一つの開拓ではあるので私たちの祖父や、まあ、祖父もですねいや父や母がやっぱり作ってきた景観ですからそのこの景観そのものが私たちの家族家族としてこの景色を守っていかなきゃいけないなって
思ってます。はい Michael is now very close to his goal of Kita Kyushu City. This is so beautiful! Wow! Nice coming down. The valley and the ocean way off in the distance. Really nice. A prime descent. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna work up a sweat here, I can tell. Wow! <laughs> This is a wall! <laughs> ah! Now that's steep. I've done like 50 episodes, but I think this is the steepest, the steepest goal scene I've ever done. Ah! <laughs> Even steeper! <laughs> okay, there it is. So I'll walk from here. It's really strong. Ah! I made it to the end of Fukuoka.、Ah. We end the trip looking down on Kita Kyushu. This city was a major contributor to Japan's economic growth through its coal exports and heavy industry. This time, What really struck me was the optimism of the people. They're really optimistic about that they can just do it, that they can just decide, okay, I'm gonna protect these things and I'm gonna make sure they're carried on to future generations. And so, whether, whether it's the, the historic songs or whether it's the, the beautiful scenery of the mountaintops or the rivers. Or the bridges, you know, whatever it is that they feel is, is beautiful that they want to carry on to future generations. And so that optimism of the people in Fukuoka is what really struck me and what I really take home in my heart from this trip. Times change, lifestyles change, but the landscape remains an eternal presence. And nothing will ever change the Fukuoka passion for life.